Good Monday. Uh, I would like to welcome everybody here on our Versus Monday series, where today I would like to discuss a little bit the advantages and disadvantages of diving a single tank versus diving a double tank or a twin set or as my Italian friends used to call it, a bibo or bibombole, which I really find a quite cool name, by the way. So let's define what a twin set or a double tank is for those who might not know. So we are talking about using two tanks that are connected together with a set of valves called a manifold that does have an isolation valve as well, which allows to separate those tanks. And those tanks are combined or put together by this manifold, uh, but as well by two sets of bends that bring the tanks together and hold them in one piece so the system is stable. Um, and this comes or this is connected then to the diving system that you are using. So the question would be why somebody would decide to dive uh, twin set or double tanks. So for some dive types you will just need to use them and I will explain why a little bit later. For some people as well, it's a little bit of a cool factor because now you are carrying more equipment and it's two tanks and it's a little bit more techy. So for some people, it's a little bit like, hmm, I like it because it's cool. But here, a little bit of a warning. If you start with two tanks, quite quickly, you will go to three tanks and then the next stage would be five tanks and the next would be potentially six tanks. And then you can end up carrying a lot of tanks. So warning, if you start with two, you don't know where the path will take you and how many tanks in the end you will be carrying on your dives. So a small warning here. So first we talk about singles or single tanks, mono tanks sometimes as well called, and their um, advantages or pros. So first of all, like with most of the uh, recreational scuba diving gear, which is the benefit is that it's popular and common. The first thing that you will find for rental, the first thing that you will find when you are traveling and going to a, a you know, holiday destination will be a single tank. And all of the jacket style VCs are designed to fit a single tank. So that's why it's super available, it's very popular. It's as well very simple because it's just one cylinder with one valve, which doesn't bring any complexity. Of course, the valves on these tanks can be with single outlet or dual outlet, but still it's only one valve and one tank, so there is no complexity in the whole system. The other thing, because of this easiness, it's super easy to use, because you just have one valve that you need to handle, you need to just basically open it before the dive, and that's it. And close after, of course, when you finish. The other advantage is that it's definitely light, because it's only one tank, and depending on what the size of the tank and the type of the materials, either it's aluminium or it's steel, the weight will as well vary. And with the um, lightness comes, or not maybe with the lightness, but related to this is as well that you will have variety of sizes, including small sizes for kids, like six liter tanks, five liter tanks. Of course, they can grow to 20 liter tanks, but those are not really very practical to use because they are becoming super heavy then. The next thing about single tanks is that they are generally cheaper to buy because it's just one tank and it's one valve. It's a little bit simpler and cheaper to maintain because most of the dive centers will have all of the facilities and they will have the knowledge how to deal and maintain and service single tanks with single valve because the, the doubles, the disadvantage would be that it's a little bit more complex to which I will come back later. Another thing is that it's a little bit cheaper to use as well because if you own a regulator then you have only one first stage because the tank most of the time will have a mono valve which means a valve with only one outlet though they are as well dual outlets existing and then you will need to have two first stages anyway. Uh, the second, uh, the next benefit, not the second, but the next benefit is that because on how it is configured and how it is used, you can use either types of first stages, either is int, so the yoke type of first stage, which is a little bit more, uh, it's a little bit bigger behind your head, or you can use a DIN uh, first stage, which is a little bit more compact. So it doesn't really matter depending on where you are and which uh, destination you are traveling to, you will have tanks that are adjusted for international, so for yoke or for DIN. So here you can choose whatever you, you would prefer depending on the conditions that you are diving. And the, the, the next advantage 
I mean, advantage. Like obvious thing is that the single tank, to be honest, if we are talking about 10 or 12 liter tank, because these are the most popular ones, they contain exactly the amount of gas you will need for a recreation dive even up to 30 meters. So not only they are smaller, they are compact, lighter, but they are enough for all, most of the dives that people would be doing. So why to go bigger? Of course, they have some disadvantages and next I will discuss those. So let's talk now about the disadvantages of diving a single tank, because there are a few from my perspective. So first of all, we do have only one valve on that tank. So if something would go wrong between the connection between the tank and the valve, then your dive is done. You cannot do anything because you would not shut off the only source of breathing gas that you have, which is in case when you are diving a single tank. So from my perspective, it's a little bit of a disadvantage. The second thing is that because you only have most of the time only one first stage, of course, you can have a dual outlet valves on your single tank, but most of the time people would be using a single uh, first stage on a mono valve, so only one outlet. And this means that all of your uh, breathing uh, devices, all of your buoyancy controlling devices will be connected to that first stage. So your primary regulator, your backup regulator, uh, your BC and your dry suit will be all connected in most of the cases to the, first, to the, to the singular first stage that you have. So in case you will use all of them at the same time, like in sharing gas while ascending and potentially adding gas to your dry suit as well, there will be plenty of gas running through that first stage. And because of this gas expansion, the gas will become colder. And especially in cold environments or in the equipment, if your equipment is not serviced properly and there is a little bit of a moisture, it can, as we call it, freeze and cause this equipment to free flow. So just to give gas without uh, any possibilities to stop it. So this, from my perspective is as well, a big disadvantage that it only, in most of the cases, allows me to use only one first stage, especially in colder environments. The next thing that I would like to discuss as a con for a single tank is stability in regards of balance underwater. And if I'm talking balance, I'm talking about moving left to right, so a little bit wobbling from left to right. Because now if you imagine if I put here something that is heavy and relatively big in diameter on top of the diver, if the diver moves from side to side, this weight that is on top will kind of have the tendency to flip him over a little bit easier. And especially with bigger tanks, which are a little bit bulkier and bigger in uh, diameter, like the very popular in Europe 12 liter steel tanks or 15 liter steel tanks, they are really very big in diameter. So then adding this weight on top will kind of have a tendency to tip you over uh, if you are diving a single tank. If you're using additionally to that uh, wing system that has a very high profile single tank adapter, it will move the tank even higher, making the system a little bit more wobblier in that case as well. So a disadvantage from my perspective too. The next thing with the single tank is how it is attached to your system. So you're using straps, which normally uh, when you get into the water, they will get obviously wet but they will stretch a little bit. So if you are not really careful enough and if you are not making them tight enough, the tank can slip from it. And the system is not really so fixed on your back and it can move a little bit, which also is disadvantage if you are talking about your stability, uh, your stable platform underwater. So another disadvantage, the straps and how loose they might become if you are not really careful on assembling the gear together. So the next disadvantage of diving in a single tank uh, is that because of the tank diameter, so it sits a little bit higher on your back, and potentially because you are using a single tank adapter which makes it even higher, and then the, the valve is just behind your head, it is much harder to reach. And then um, it's not only that the tank is positioned a little bit higher and further away, but I mean, our arms have a limited range of movement and our shoulders might have a limited range of movements. So it is generally harder to reach to the valves if you are diving a single tank. And of course, you will not close a single tank underwater because it's the only source of gas that you have. But there might be circumstances where you would like to check if the tank is open. So being able to reach to that tank is really quite critical from safety perspective, from my, in my opinion. And the last thing, which is quite obvious as a, a disadvantage of a single tank, is how much gas it contains. Because it's still a single tank, it has a limited amount of gas, 
And if you are going into different pathways on, on diving, so if you are going into uh, technical diving, which means most of the time deeper dives, or if you are going into cave diving, which means longer dives, you will need more gas. So there is no way that you can venture on those different types of diving on a single tank because the guns that you will carry will just simply not be enough. And of course there might be divers that has a higher consumption rate, so surface consumption rate, SCR as we call it. So they might as well think that a single tank is not enough for them. And of course they can go uh, into a bigger size cylinder, but remember that the bigger the tank will be, the less stable it will be, because just reversing back to the point about having the tank on your back and being a little bit more wobbly, and as well, carrying a single 12 liter tank or 20 liter tank, in fact, is really a lot of weight. And this tank is not really suitable for diving as a single tank, in fact. So quite few disadvantages there. But let's switch on now to twin sets or double tanks or bibombole, like the Italians would say. And then let's talk about their advantages and disadvantages too. So here we are talking about doubles now, so twin sets. So what are the advantages of it? So first of all, just referring to the last disadvantage of a single thing I said, volume of gas. You have more gas that you can use underwater, so your dives become longer. You can venture into new ways of diving, so you can go technical diving, you can go cave diving, and potentially, if you are a diver who has a higher surface consumption rate, you will have more time underwater. So that is, that was the main reason for having twin sets, is just bigger volumes of gas that you can use underwater and then you can stay and explore that environment for longer time. But what else? So first of all, or the second uh, advantage is that it, the system is redundant, which means that if you would have any failure on your tank, like a tank neck o-ring, or if you would have a failure on the parts of the valves or any failure on regulators, you can manage those failures underwater because the system is dual and the breathing sources are on separate first stages. You have options on manipulating valves, closing some or shutting off certain pieces of this equipment and handle that emergency underwater. And now there are two things to say here. It is very important for tech or cave diving where you would have a ceiling above your head, like in a cave it is actually a ceiling, you cannot just ascend if you have a failure. And in technical diving you will have a decompression ceiling, you cannot ascend because you will put yourself at risk of having decompression sickness. So that's why the ability to manage failures of that type underwater is extremely important. But a big warning here, do not try it at home, do not learn it all, all on yourself. You need to do a course, you need to get properly trained how to manage that and understand the relations between the valves, what is being shut off and why equipment is positioned on those two first stages that you have. So do not go there on your own, seek an instructor that can teach you properly how to use them. So the system is redundant. The system is redundant as well, not only in case of a failure, but as well if you are diving in a colder environment. When I have mentioned the single tank and the amount of gas that flows through that first stages because everything is connected to one, here you will have them separated. So the likelihood of this system getting uh, a freeze and getting a free flow because of that is much lower because you separate the gas flow so the expansion is less. The gas that you breathe will not be as cold if you would be using all of the devices at the same time. So there is another advantage here. Um, Another thing that is really quite important is the underwater stability. Because now if you imagine that you do not have a single tank on your back, but you have two, thang two tanks, the whole system is more flat on your back. It's much more stable and this wobbliness, so the loss of balance underwater is much less likely. Because of the tanks, most of the time they will be 12 liter or 11 liter. They are a little bit slenderer, so they are longer and less in diameter, so the system sits closer to your back. You will not need to use any single tank adapters. It brings the system even closer to your back. And from my perspective, switching from a single tank to a double tank is uh, like sitting in a big stable truck that really drives very well and the stability is much, much, much bigger. Then the last thing is as well, um, if you look at 
GUI divers and the equipment that we are using. We are using a certain type of configuration, which consists of a backplate wing and a set of regulators. And the beauty of the system is that you can easily switch between a single tank and a twin set only by changing a wing, because you will need to have a little bit bigger volume if you are using a twin set. So this is as well an advantage for GUI divers that you can so easily switch between. So if you are going on a holiday to some warm place, then you will use your single tank system. But because you are as well a technical diving or diver in that dives in a cold environment, you can easily switch to twin set again. So this would be, for a GUI diver, an advantage because the whole system allows us to quickly switch between one and the other. But as with everything, as, and because it's versus Monday, so I need to talk about disadvantages, let's talk about the disadvantages or cons for di diving a twin set. So, disadvantages of a twin set now. So, first of all, it's weight. It is heavy. It is much heavier than a single tank. It's kind of double the weight, at least, plus more valves and the stainless steel bands that connects it all together. And it's not only weight that you need to carry on land, that you need to put on your back, that you need to maneuver and you need to walk with it. So it is requiring a little bit more fitness and more strength. But as well underwater or on the surface, you will need more power to move that truck that you just put on your back around, talking about, you know, heavier, heavier equipment. So it might increase a little bit your risk because if you are not used to it, so they carry that weight. If you are on a rocky boat, it will be much easier for you to fall. And because you are heavier, you might cause some injury. If you are having a harder or more difficult in-water entry from a shore, it will be heavier in a, or harder in a twin set because it's just heavy. And you need to lean with it and it may be squat and put your fins on. So wearing a twin set requires a little bit more strength, a little bit more power. And you need to really remember that you are carrying something super heavy and it's very easy that it tips you over and then you might have a serious injury because it's just additional weight. So be aware, putting a twin set is not only the carrying on the surface, like on land, but as well as rocking boat, it's maybe heavy waves that you need to exit or enter from ashore and you need to swim with it as well. So there is a little bit more of drag created with it because you need to carry these tanks with you. And the more, the bigger they are, the more drag, the more strength you will need to push yourself with this additional equipment through the water column. So this would be one of the main disadvantages that sometimes prevents people from uh, using a twin set. Um, the other thing is that because we are having more valves and the whole system is more complex, so the manifold, it has more O-rings, it has more movable pieces, it has more knobs, so the amount of failure points is bigger. There is more O-rings to fail, there is more valves to be stuck. So this is as well a disadvantage. Another thing is that uh, because of this manifold and this whole system being more complex because it is built from several pieces, it needs to be assembled correctly. Because if it's not, the whole system will leak. So because the manifold will not be fitting or sitting on the tanks properly, and then the bands will not be, if they are adjusted wrong, the system will not be sealing. So it will be leaking, it will be more prone to leaking. Another thing, of course, is more uh, cumbersome to service because you need to find somebody who knows how to disassemble and assemble a twin set together in a proper way so it is not leaking and every piece that needs to be movable, like the isolator, is movable. So it, and it is related to how the twin set is assembled. So here, another disadvantage is more complex for servicing as well. And of course, it, it, because it's more complex, it will become more expensive. Uh, the other thing that we have there is um, uh, the whole, uh, the, the, the twin set is connected to your system with bolts, and those bolts have wing nuts, like two very tiny pieces of metal that are very easily lost or forgotten. And then if you do not have them with you, your dive is done because you cannot attach your back plate and your wing to the twin set. So this is a little bit of a maybe funny disadvantage, but I have seen divers standing, staring at the twin set saying, all right, I can't dive, I have everything, a part of these two small wing nuts that I just forgot at home. Or I lost them in the filling station because I just forgot them. Another thing is that uh, the, the, the complexity uh, of the system is that it has three valves. And even if all of those three valves, they turn in the same direction. So you close them right, open them left, 
because they are positioned in different ways, in different planes of movement, it is very confusing in the beginning in which direction I should turn to close and in which direction I should turn if it's open because you need to learn this and it will take a little bit of time and there is actual risk that you will have a closed valve if you think it's actually open. So, from my perspective, and I will repeat the same plea that I had before, go get trained, don't just put a twin set on your back and go diving because it will bring some risk for you if you do not understand how does it work. The next disadvantage is um, its heaviness and then bulkiness, if I can say so. And I already talked a little bit about it, but I would like to give a little bit more details in here. So uh, we have been talking about uh, the, how uh, fixed and nice and stable it is when you are in a flat trim and then you have these flat tanks, like two tanks on your back. But when you are flipped over, if you are going on the side and then the tanks will push you a little bit belly up tanks down because they are heavier it will be much harder to come back because it will be more weight that you need to kind of push around to put it back on your in the proper position on that the tanks are up and then you are below them and not the other way around so this is a disadvantage because it will require a little bit more strength again to manipulate those tanks underwater and of course you will need to need more strength and a little bit better finning technique and a little bit potentially stiffer fins because you will need to move more weight and more volume underwater. So diving in a softer fins and not having a proper uh, swimming or maneuvering techniques might really become harder if you are having a twin set because it's not only volume weight and it increases the drag as well underwater as a, as, a, as a complete package, let's say. So this would be another disadvantage, talking about how easy it is to maneuver and how easy it is to go back to your proper position if you're getting off from your normal position for whatever reason. So the next thing is, um, as a disadvantage is that if you are a single tank diver and you are not using a back plate and a wing, it will be additional investment into buying that type of kit because you will need to have a wing back plate because twin sets are not working with standard DC jacket style uh, systems because they will not be, they, they won't be rigid enough to hold the weight of the twin sets on your back. So this might be a disadvantage because you will need to invest more if you are not already having a Dewey configurated system consisting on a backplate wing and uh, regulators. So this would be a disadvantage as well. Um, the other thing related to equipment is that when you are diving a twin set, it is more uh, recommended to use a DIN type of a first stage because of robustness of its connection which relates to the environment that you will be using a twin set in, for instance, caves or wreck diving. And the international or yoke type of first stages is not really fitting very well because they will create so much additional uh, uh, kind of equipment behind your neck that you will not have the freedom of movement with your head, you will not be so easily uh, able to look around if you would be using the yoke style of first stages so depending on what equipment you have now it could be another investment because you would need to change your regulators as well so another disadvantage of switching between single tank and a double tank depending on what equipment currently you are using so the question remains should a single tank diver switch to doubles or should a recreational diver go for a twin set and i'm not talking about you know going there because it's popular or it's just uh, in fashion now to be a twin set diver and it just looks more cool but are there actual advantages for a recreational diver to go there and what are the final pieces of an advice that i would give if you would decide to go for a twin set so first of all remember that equally as a single tanks the twin sets they do have variety of sizes as well they are smaller twin sets like seven liter twin sets eight and a half 10 liter, 12, and of course they go bigger. But if you're a smaller person, or if you want to start lighter and still have the advantages, the other advantages of a twin set, you can go for a double seven or a double 8.5, which is a nice light twin set. And you, it could be a transi transition stage for you if you are then thinking about going into tech or cave diving. So using a smaller and lighter twin set. The other thing that you really need to consider if you are switching to a twin set, you need to be more strong. They are always heavier. The more you progress, the heavier twin sets you put on your back, you need more strength to swim, to walk around, to manage the equipment, carrying it around, even putting into your car on off the bench. 
uh, being able to support your team if it would be coming to a situation like that that you need to tow them on the surface. So bigger equipment, heavier equipment, more volume, it means more strength, more technique, especially if it comes to maneuvering and moving around with that heavier equipment. Uh, the last, or not the last thing, maybe two last things. So first, the, the, the first of the two last things is you need to get trained. You should not just put a twin set on your back and here we go, I'm going off diving and I just read on the internet or looked at that video and I presume I can do that. It might really become unsafe if you do not understand the whole system, how it works and what are the consequences of closing valves and how to recognize if the valve is closed and is open. And believe me, it might become very, very confusing. So please do not try it at home, get trained. Find a good instructor that can bring you into that pathway in a way that you will understand what the risks are, but as well what the benefits are. And then last thing would be, if you are carrying the twin set on your back, which has more valves, you have to be able to reach them and manipulate them. So it might require as well a little bit extending a little bit or working on your flexibility and how I can reach behind and understanding how the valves are manipulated. So in addition to just getting trained how to use them, you should as well, if you already have a twin set, you really should put quite a lot of effort on learning the technique how to reach those valves properly and how to operate them. Because if you carry them, you have to be able to use them. Because otherwise, it's a little bit like driving a car without being able to reach the brake pedal. You have it there, but you can't use it. So if you have those valves behind your back and you have more of them, you should be able to manipulate them and understand how it works. So the question is, should we go for a single tank diving now? Because, you know, my, my talk has finished a little bit like, yeah, you know, go for a twin set and just get more strong, get trained and you will have the benefit of it. And I see a lot of utilization for single tank diving. Me personally, if I'm going to a holiday or if I'm diving in a warm water environment and I'm just going there for fun to look, to make a shallow dive with some friends, I would use a single tank. Because to be honest, it's so light, it's so easy to maneuver, it's so simple, I just put my set on it, I analyze my tank, put the regulator on and off I go. It's less, I carry less gear, the tank is easier to manipulate underwater as well because I'm carrying less weight. So it does have a huge advantage as well. So don't neglect single tank diving. Twin sets, they do have their advantages and they do have their use, but single tanks, they do it as well. So my versus Monday, they both are equally valuable sets for scuba diving and depends on where your path is going, you might choose to have a twin set, but don't neglect the single tank diving because it's really quite cool, especially because it's so light. So thank you very much for listening. I hope to see you next Monday on our Versus Monday. And I'm really quite curious if you have your own ideas, what you would like to hear from us and what we, you would like us to compare. So leave us comments down here below. And otherwise, thank you very much for joining me again on Versus Monday, and I will see you next time.